حضرت ابو حریرا رضی اللہ عنہ سیز اللہ زپوزل صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈسپیج اکانٹنجنٹ آف ٹین سپائز اپوائنٹنگ حضرت آسم بن ثابت انساری ایز دیر چیف ہو واز دا گرینڈ فادر آف حضرت آسم بن عمر بن خطاب دے وینٹ آن پریگرنیشن اینڈ وین دے ریچڈ اے پلیس کالڈ ہدا ان بٹوین عثفان اینڈ مکہ مکرمہ سم ون ٹول دا ٹرائب بنو لحان اے برانچ آف بنو حویل اباؤٹ دیم So they sent nearly 100 archers in their pursuit. They were searching for their footprints and at last they found some date stones which they had bought from Madinah Munawwara as provisions at the place where they stayed and said, These look like the dates of Yasrab Madinah Taiba. So they kept on proceeding, seeking the footprints. When Hazrat Asim and his companions noticed that they had come close, they climbed up a mountain. The infidels engulfed the mountain and warned them if you ascend and confide yourselves to us we promise and covenant with you that we will not kill even a single one of you hazrat asim said companions i am not ready to seek the protection offered by the infidels he then made invocation o oh allah jalla jalaluhu inform your prophet of our plight The enemies started shooting a volley of arrows which resulted in the martyrdom of Hazrat Asim and his seven companions and the remaining three believing their promise and covenant came down to wit Hazrat Khubeb Hazrat Zaid bin Dathina and the third one Hazrat Abdullah bin Tariq when they had entrusted themselves to them they detached the strings apart from the bows and started fastening their arms on their back When the third observed that they are breathing the promise right in the start he said that he would never go with them he would rather go to his martyred brothers than go with them the infidels pulled him violently but he was not convinced so ultimately they martyred him and took hazrat khubeb and hazrat zaid and at last sold them it happened after the battle of badr so banu harith bin amir bin nawfal purchased hazrat khubeb as he killed Haris bin Amir in the battle of Badr. Hazrat Khubayb remained their captive for many days and at last they resolved to martyr him. So he asked a razor from Haris' daughter. She gave him the razor and became inattentive regarding her baby who moving around went to Hazrat Khubayb and he set him on his thigh. When she saw the baby near him, she got extremely embarrassed. Hazrat Khubayb, discerning her anxiety, said, Are you scared that I will kill the child? No, I will never do so if Allah Jalla Jalaluhu wills. She says, I have never seen a noble prisoner than Khubab. Undoubtedly, one day I witnessed him eating grapes and the bunch was in his hand, though no fruit was available then in Mecca and he was in manacles. So this was the provision sent to him by Allah Jalla Jalaluhu when Banu Haris took him outside the sanctuary to kill him. Hazrat Khubayb radhi Allahu anhu said permit me to perform two units so they gave him respite and he performed the prayer he then faced them and said i must have performed these units taking much time but i did not take much time fearing lest you should think that i was fearing death he then invoked o allah jalla jalaluhu ruin them one after another thereafter he recited these verses if i am slain being a muslim i don't feel gloomy If I am slain in Allah's cause I don't mind my life has been devoted to Allah's cause may he jalla jalaluhu bless the amputated parts of my torn body then Uqba bin Haris got up and martyred him and the Quraysh sent some men so as to fetch any part of his body for identification as he had done away with one of their dignitaries in the battle of Badr but Allah jalla jalaluhu appointed a colony of wasps like creatures near his body that did not let anyone come close to his body and they could not severe and take any part of his body sahih bukhari hadith number 4086